This is why YouTube slips 10 commercials into their 10 minute clips because they know you want to watch it, but in the meantime, they're gonna try to sell you something. It, it just shows that as soon as you are engaged in any topic, they have the power to influence you and control you. This is yet another video that was censored and deleted from YouTube. I only saved clips from Instagram. Ever since YouTube has been censoring my videos and deleting them permanently, I have thought to create backups on Venmo and some videos I can't even post on YouTube. So if you want to follow um, all the information I have, the, the censored videos won't be on YouTube. It will be on ithoughty.com. Please support my Patreon channel so I can keep both running. In this video, I'm going to show you the censored information that I did save, little pieces on Instagram, and I'm also going to add new information. Addiction is a sign that you are under a spell of witchcraft. Would you be surprised if I told you the religion of this world is witchcraft? I make videos concerning biblical topics and the Manakati language for which the Bible was originally written in. Many of you I believe it's Paleo-Hebrew, but there was a language before Hebrew. Therefore, the Tower of Babel um, represents that original language, which is Manakati. But this is not the topic for this video. The topic is the deleted video that YouTube deleted, which was exposing witchcraft through addiction. So this video, again, I am going to add to it and show you the clips that I actually found on Instagram. The full video was lost because YouTube deleted it. I have to be strategic and wise and crafty by putting my video on Venmo as a backup instead of YouTube, especially when they're controversial because controversial because YouTube is going to delete my videos when I speak the truth, when the truth hits them real hard. And this video hits YouTube real hard and you saw that clip in the beginning how I exposed YouTube for using witchcraft YouTube uses witchcraft, social media is using witchcraft, your phone is a witchcraft device. I'm going to try to touch on all the key topics, but I have a lot to say concerning this topic. The main reason why I started um, to, really dis um, to really discover the Manakati language was because I was revealing information about witchcraft and it led me to the language, um, the original language, the language before Hebrew. And so... I, I really have so much to say on this topic, but the time is not there. That's why I need your support. Um. When you are addicted to something, that thing is in control of your will, which is no longer free. Drug and alcohol are substances which have the ability to carry you and take you to places which you would not normally go. These places are delusions in your mind, which you think you are acting a certain way, but in reality, in the real world, you are acting in um, an outrageous way, which you yourself cannot. Most people are very keen and not being coming an addict um, towards street drugs. However, they have dropped their guard or some of them are waking up, some people are waking up that the basically the modern hospitals or doctors, they are the modern day drug pushes. They're the ones who actually cause the most death, okay? If you, if you look at the statistics, the number one way to die is by the doctor, okay? And overdosing on drugs, the number one drug overdose is the prescription drugs, okay? And look at Tylenol. Tylenol has caused much deaths and it's not just Tylenol. Okay, it's it's all these big um, pharmacy corporations. They they got you they got your guard down, thinking that their their prescription drugs are not like regular street drugs. You know, for a long time, marijuana was pushed as a like you know like a really bad drug. And I'm not saying it's not addictive. I don't like marijuana. Um, if you're not sick and if you don't need it for medicine purposes. It's in the same class as alcohol, okay? Yeah, I never said you can't drink wine. He said drink wine, be happy, be merry. There's nothing wrong with, you know, being merry if you want to be merry, be merry, okay? But as someone who's intelligent and trying to get their, their business up and running or, you know, keep their business afloat or someone who's really um, trying to, for example, a doctor, 
or, or, or a priest, someone who needs to have a professor, someone who needs to have their wits should not drink. Yeah, one small drink, but they need to like, they need to keep up their appearance for their integrity because their information is their brand, okay? If if you come to me for information, right? And you, you see me as a wise woman. If you one day you saw me at the bar drinking and I'm always drinking and then I and you saw me drunk on the street, you wouldn't want information from me. This is what Yahweh said in the Bible. It said, you know, leave the drinking to the one who has given up on life. If you haven't given up on life, don't drink. If you haven't given up on life, don't let someone, something, um, cause you to be addicted to it. Men, if your addiction is sex, that is controlling you. Can you control yourself? Women, if that's you, if that's you being controlled um, by, by that, by sex, then you need to like, Look within yourself and see if, if sex is your addiction. Um, yeah, anything could become an addiction. So this video is to let you be aware that your addiction is the reason why witchcraft works so well. Witches and wizards are people who practice the craft of sorcery. These people are in modern days scientists. The scientists, they create um, basically the substances that can be used for sorcery. The doctors, such as your regular physician, they give you what they call medicine. They call medicine is actually a, a, a substance, a drug substances that tend to have addictive qualities that alter your, your mind and, and your body in ways that is not natural. So I said in that clip, addiction is a sign that you are under a spell of witchcraft do you have any addiction whether it is smoking eating um, holding on to your phone um, waiting for that call checking your emails um, gambling sex pornography are these your addictions i mean any one of those your addictions anything that is your addiction it, it shows that there is some witchcraft there, okay? And let's look at alcoholism and drug use, okay? When someone is on drugs or is drinking, they are not themselves because their true self is the person who doesn't smoke, is the person who doesn't drink. But, you know, usually people who, who take on the addiction of drinking and smoking they basically are running away from their problems. They literally don't want to be themselves. And, and so they allow themselves to be taken. Some of us don't even allow ourselves to be taken. We, we get taken without, you know, even trying to run away from a problem. Um, you know, and that's the whole point of witchcraft. Witchcraft, what I look at witchcraft is enslavement, but is enslavement that you don't even realize you're being enslaved, Okay. Many people are foregoing social media accounts and they're trying their best to stay off of it. And I do too. You know, I do like to look at Instagram for the news um, to see if anyone's posting anything. And for motivational purposes, I subscribe to some business uh, Instagram accounts and, you know, they put some motivational information and, you know, some religious, you know, people who serve, yeah, I follow them too. And so... I only go there for motivation, but I won't stay too long because there is addiction there. You can waste a lot of time and before you know it, a whole hour has passed. And so we have to be careful for anything and everything that captures our attention. We have to realize that there's a potential witchcraft going on, um, a potential addiction, a potential um, allowing our mind to be enslaved. Okay, we're supposed to, those who keep the commandments and follow the scriptures, we're supposed to serve Yahweh. Yahweh is the most high, the almighty, the creator. That's his name in Manakati. And we're supposed to be devoted to him. And if we have an addiction, we're actually going to um, mar that devotion. That devotion won't be there because an addiction will be there. Maybe you work too much. Maybe your job and making money is taking away your time from Yahweh. Maybe you're obsessed with your wife and your wife is taking away time from Yahweh. This is why the Shabbat day, we're supposed to, you know, 
relax, stop working, stop serving other people. And we're supposed to give our full attention to Yatwa. This video, I ain't making it on the Shabbat because they don't have time because, you know, the, 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 the regular work days, I actually have to work and make money for my family and to support these websites that I do. But I actually would love to do this full time. Um, but I have to do this on a Shabbat day. I have to put this information out on Sabbath day and I can't do it that often. Um, so that's why part of the reason why I need your support, but be that as it may, um, I'm doing this video on the Shabbat for you so you can understand what's going on. We are being, um, we are under a spell. The whole earth is under a spell. Now, if you live off the land and you don't have a cell phone, you don't have a TV, you don't subscribe to, um, any magazines, you're not on the internet. You're probably not under the the crap, though the spell of witchcraft. Okay, and let me show you how big this spell is. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a spell. Okay, think about it. It's an unforeseen energy that's being spread out, and it act, it actually can hurt you. Okay, um, being too close to a cell phone tower can give you cancer. That's how strong the energy is. Okay. It's a spell, okay? Now, I have a cell phone. I have a few, I have two cell phones, actually. And I know it's a witchcraft device, okay? I use it because this is how I can communicate with you. But in, but I know it's a witchcraft device. And knowing such, I am careful not to be addicted. With knowing anything that causes an addiction is the thing that is controlling you, empowers you to break the possession by breaking the addiction. If your will is no longer free through addiction, which is witchcraft, then you or your mind is enslaved and you are in, not in control. Why would you want to lose control of yourself, your person, your spirit? Why would you want to allow a thing or a religion such as witchcraft empower themselves of you like they literally are gaining power by controlling you your energy is powering them if they have the power through for example um, a video or a platform which will not be named if they have the power through their amazing videos this is why I don't do advertisements on my videos if you see an advertisement on any video on my page it's not me is YouTube. I do qualify to be a YouTube partner, but I will not do it. I won't do it because I don't want to be part um, of it. If you guys are, um, if you like the quality of my video and, and you get um, taken by it, I don't want um, to profit off of that. I don't want to um, allow someone to come submit an ad in, into what I'm doing. That's why I won't you won't see me with a, a, an hour long video put in a bunch of little clips of commercials in it. I won't do it. I won't be a part of it um, because that's taking advantage of you. And I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but, you know, this is why the platform is here so it can benefit off of you um, desiring the information that they have. Okay. And so we have to use their platform and not let them use us. Because, you know, it's either they're using you or you're using them, okay? I like this platform, YouTube, or not this platform, because this video is going to go on my ithoughty.com page, and maybe YouTube subscribers won't get it because YouTube will likely delete it, but I will have a backup of this video. You are in control of your thoughts if you guard your senses from the power of suggestion. Advertisers use the power of suggestion to influence you to buy their products. If it didn't work, they wouldn't spend the money. When advertisement goes away, so does the power to take away your money. When you are possessed, you are actually hypnotized. The TV and social media are powerful tools used to capture your engagement and slip the suggestion of a product in between what you're actually really wanting to learn about. This is why YouTube slips 10 commercials into their 10 minute clips because they know you want to watch it, but in the meantime, they're going to try to sell you something. It, it just shows that as soon as you are engaged in any topic, they have the power to influence you and control you. If you 
or I have the wisdom of not being an alcoholic, being a drug addict, engaging in some pornography or something that um, is addictive or constantly being on social media. If you and I have that control and we're not doing that, why would we fall into a different trap? So if you realize that witchcraft needs you to be addicted, it needs you to want what they have, then you will be wise and you will be able to spot it when it happens, okay? Even when it seems like it's not happening, such as the addiction of the cell phone. The goal of those who practice witchcraft is to take away your free will. Wi-Fi and the access of the internet and utilizing the information that's available has gotten people to be addicted. Like they can't be without their cell phones. They can't be without the connection. And this is why Facebook is has created a different platform called the Meta Universe. They hope to really grab you, to really grab your time, because time is money. If your time is not invested in something that will bring you up, for example, let's say your time is invested in business, but if you're so addicted to the internet that you don't take care of your business, then you don't have a business, okay? And they want you to be dependent upon them. They want you to basically be the drug addict because their drug is the information such as the internet. Um, this is why um, it was years ago, people were afraid that they were going to charge for internet, you know, and I, I'm... And like, it was like a whole big thing. You remember, you remember it. If you don't remember it, research how um, people were afraid because I guess, I don't know who owns the internet, but apparently um, they were trying at one point to take control over it. And so that could happen at any time. Maybe they stopped and they paused because they don't want controversy. They want you to forget about what happened. And so they're, you know, they're taking it easy. They're probably plotting right now to take control of the internet so they can have you because they know that the internet is a way to connect us all. It's basically like um, the 2023 Tower of Babel. You know, we are able to understand each other and communicate with people from far away um, by use of this modern day Tower of Babel. This is why Yahuwah brought back the Manakati language, the Manakati, which is the language before Hebrew, okay? The original language of all mankind. This is why Yahweh brought it back because right now, modern day Tower of Babel is here. The internet is the Tower of Babel. You can access an app by the way of the internet and you could just get people's, um, whatever language they speak, you can get it translated for you instantly. And so there's no longer the need for us to be divided as far as the language. Yahweh has opened the door. And at the same time, he, he allowed me to to access the Manakati language and bring it to you so you guys can have it. And so every day I gain more insight into the language, um, but I don't want to go there right now. Today's it's about addiction. I have more to say. If your eyes and ears are constantly bombarded with commercials, you are likely a victim of witchcraft and hypnosis and deception. Did you know you were so empowered? All you have to do to break the spell is to break your addiction. Practice. Um, some fasting, the fast practice, not eating for you to gain control of your food. If you're obese and if you're, if you're taken to be eat, if you're just eating all the time and food is your addiction, stop eating. If sex is your addic addiction, stop having sex. Okay. Like we need to stay away from things that cause us to be addicted. This is why Yahweh gave us the Shabbat day. Six days shall you work the seven day of the Shabbat, so you can break the cycle of work, of making money. He doesn't want you obsessed with money all the time. No, we must take a break. We must focus on the things that matter um, and, and remember our covenant with Yah. Those who serve Yah take a break on the Shabbat. And I don't believe Saturday is the Shabbat. FYI, visit cycleofthesun.com. Since I'm mentioning it, you might as well um, check out that website, basically, uh, I feel like Yahweh has showed me the true Shabbat day. And I know that there's been some controversy, um, um, people debating why this Saturday is not Shabbat. And I, I don't believe it is. And I found the Shabbat day and I've already explained it in other videos. Um, and it's slowly building. Um, people are slowly coming to it. And the information 
is really left field, I want to say, because the truth sometimes is hard to believe, okay? And visit the website. You'll see. So I told you, your spirit is in danger of being enslaved. Your mind is in danger of being enslaved. How do they enslave your spirit? How do they grab it? Through your senses. Because you can't touch the spirit that's Aitari unless you you touch um, like the the my senses, for example. And it could be like my eyes, what I see in front of me, if you're able to control what I see. If you're able to control what I hear. But I control that. You don't control that. I decide what's going to go in my ears. I can get away from the noise. I can get away from the toxic whatever. If it's if it's um if it's hurting my if the whatever I'm seeing is hurting my mind, I can get away from it. Okay. If I'm cold, I can put on a sweater. I don't have to be subject to the to the freeze. And if I'm hot, I can put on the AC. So these are your senses. We have to be aware that our eyes and our ears. They're very delicate. They're very delicate because it brings in information. It brings in information to our mind. Okay. The ayin symbol, which is the round symbol in the Manakati language, it looks like an O, um, is in both the, the word shamai, which means hair, and it's in and it's in the word ayin, which means eyes. Okay. I want you to think about that. Okay, why is it there? In my book, Primitive Sign Language, the Etymology of Ancient Biblical Hebrew, visit PrimitiveSignLanguage.com to find out about that, that book. Um, in that book, I explain the connection between the Ayin symbols and everything that is associated with it. Okay, It's very important that we study the symbolic language because it will break many... It reveals many secrets, okay? It reveals many secrets that our subconscious understands, but our, you know, regular mind, you know, regular day when we're awake, we don't, we're not really connecting it. But it allows you to connect it. It allows you to see the connections in nature and in real life because the Manakati language is about, it's about the connections of life and how we communicate and, and it does utilize hand signs, but it also um, utilizes the things we see in nature. You've heard the saying, knowledge is power. I say controlling the information of knowledge is more power. Okay? If you desire knowledge of anything, it's likely you'll go to the internet. And go in there, they will gain power over you if you allow them. We have to be wise. I've, I've heard from someone that DuckDuckGo no longer protects your privacy. So promoting any particular website at any particular time um, for search engines is not always going to work because times change. So, you know, if it's not DuckDuckGo, use something else to search information because they are guarding a lot of information. That's why my video gets deleted. This video, if you see it on YouTube now, Mm -mm -mm. It might not be there um, in a month or week or a year. They might forget about it, but somehow they find it. If so, that's okay. I thought you .com, it will be there and I will upload it to Venmo and I will make sure to keep a copy, you know, but things happen, you know. Um, I'm trying to like be smart about the information I'm putting out. If I find that it's controversial, I try to save a copy. I don't know what happened. You know what? I actually remember deleting the that video off my phone. I had... I didn't, I didn't have enough space on my phone and, and I thought that that video was on YouTube. And so I pressed delete on my phone and then two weeks later to now, I find that it's not on YouTube. So, oops. Oh man, I messed up there. But um, thank you for watching this video and you are empowered. You are empowered to control the information that goes into your mind. If you find yourself addicted, you know, all you got to do is break it, separate yourself from it. Separate from yourself from it and gain control and then come back and watch yourself, you know, because someone's trying to, to they're all trying to grab you because right now it's all about how many people, how much attention they can grab. The website that can grab the most attention gets the most money. 
and they want your attention. Yahweh wants your attention. He's competing here too. I'm not sure how much you're allowing Yahweh to win. You know, um, that's between you and Yahweh. Witchcraft is in the air. It can be seen everywhere. They are after your mind. How much is your time worth? It's if you spend your relaxing times, your free time, when you're not having to work hourly for a job, if you spend your relaxing time just giving it to social media, you're basically giving it to witchcraft. You're not giving it to Yah. You might think you are, but you're not. Um, you have to do more. You have to disconnect yourself. Don't let your mind be taken. You have to be more vigilant. We all have to work hard to, to get forward. And this world, as you notice, they are saying we live in a matrix. I think I would agree, but we need to get away from the so-called computer. You know, we need to live in the real life, in the real world. This is why I promote everyone to start a garden and, and enjoy the fruits of your labor in the garden and empower yourself to provide for yourself and to see nature for what it is and and you'll get healing from nature and you'll get motivation, you'll get inspiration. Um, connect yourself to the things that really make life worth a living. You know, your time has to be valuable unless you don't value yourself. So.